Kia ora. this is Helen Brahms coming to you for the Have to Cruise show. I am with Cruise Planners and welcome to our weekly show. This week I am so excited because I get to have the awesome Kathy Stover on the show with us. Now Kathy is an internet TV expert as well as a social media strategist. Well, that's, a, that's a lot of cool stuff in there. So this week we're going to be talking with Kathy about social media, what impact it has played when you're traveling how you can use it to stay in contact with people, how you can use it to plan your trips. So, Kathy, welcome to the show. It is so wonderful to have you on the show. Helen, thank you so much. I am so excited to be here with you and see your smiling, beautiful face again. And I'm honored to be here and talking with your audience today. Thank you so much. Oh, you are more than welcome. And like I said, I am so excited that I've got you on the show. Now, um, We've had a couple of guests on the show in the last couple of weeks. One of them was your good friend, Linda Jones, who, as everybody knows, the luxury is the American Wealth Mentor. I've got to remember to get that one right. And then we also had Carrie Williams on a couple of weeks ago, who is a life coach. And both of them were talking about, we did insert some social media stuff in there, especially about dream boards and the roles that they play with helping people set their goals and stuff. And Pinterest seemed to come up a lot with that. So how is it that Pinterest is helping people plan their trips as well as um, staying in contact with people while they're traveling? Well, you know what's really exciting, Helen, is kind of the correlation between dream boards and Pinterest because you can actually utilize Pinterest, the social media site, to create dream boards as your previous guest um, had alluded to and not only plan trips, so that people can see kind of what it is that you're desiring to do or where you want to go. But when you're on the trip, you can actually download photographs and pictures and kind of your journey along the way and share that with family and friends while you're gone traveling. That is awesome. I love that. And I like the fact too that you can create individual boards. So you can create a board just for that trip. And I think that's a brilliant idea. But here's another question for you. We do have some people who watch this who are who travel a lot, but they don't always travel for pleasure. They also travel for business. So how could Pinterest help them while they're traveling for business? Well, that's an, an excellent question. And one of the things that you can do in staying in contact with your clients is not only letting them see kind of a part of what you're doing for fun and traveling if you're with family and friends, which I think is really important and it's an important part of social media right now and that is that we go beyond just the business aspect but that we let people see those parts of our lives that they might not normally see. But what you can do with that is you can create a board and stay in contact and have information that would be relative to that individual client or an individual product or project as well. Well, that's an awesome way to do it. Now, I understand, too, that Pinterest will also post to Facebook and Twitter. Is that correct? So you've got that one post that goes to multiple places? You know, and that's, that's a really cool feature that they have, and it's kind of round robin with, Pen, with Pinterest and Facebook and Twitter. Um, you can do it even going from a Facebook app like on your iPhone or on a smartphone and it would post to Pinterest or back the other way as well and keep Twitter um, populated so that everybody sees what's going on you know all at one time. The other thing is you can create the board so that you only have specific individuals that can see them. So they have a, a secret board they call it where you can keep it secret where nobody sees or you can provide access to just um, particular individuals as well. So in that realm, if it's something that you don't want the outside world or the public to see, and it's a client uh, product or a project that you're working on, you can just stay in contact with those individuals there as well. I didn't realize that you could actually do that with a board, that you could have that secret board. It's almost like a secret group on Facebook in a way, isn't it? Yes, yeah, like well, it's like um, secret uh, groups in Facebook, very similar. That's awesome because I didn't, like I said, I didn't realize I could do that. So 
it might come in handy with a few things now. But you can also um, share the, pin the Pinterest boards too and have pe other people post to them as well, can't you? Right, and that's kind of exciting because it, you know, even though we like to think that we kick back and relax and and we just leave business at home. I think that it's technology has become such an important part of our lives that by having this technology at hand, either it be your smartphone or I even had my laptop and iPad when I went on the Promote Your Passion cruise that, that you set up in Karen Glasser, I had everything with me so I was able to stay in touch with my clients. And, um, and converse with them back and forth and put the information out there so that I didn't feel like I was removed and it also gave them a level of comfortability so that they could contact me and also enjoy some of the fun that I was experiencing while I was gone as well. I just thought of something. So if you've got people that could share the board as in multiple people posting to one board, you could do it so like, if, like when we did the Promote Your Passion cruise, we could then turn around, create a Promote Your Passion cruise board, have everybody on the cruise have, give access that they could post photographs to, so we kind of create a album for the cruise. Kind of a Pinterest Promote Your Passion cruise love fest. Yes. Yes, that would absolutely. Be awesome. Oh my gosh. And you so know what else? Any of my groups I have going, I could get them to do the same thing. Absolutely, and what that's going to do is create virality throughout all of our other social media avenues too, so it's going to also tag in through Facebook and Twitter. So we're going to have it go out and go out and go out, and the other cool thing is, as you know, we can load videos to Pinterest as well, so we can be doing mm -hmm. like little testimonials or sharing meals, just kind of fun things along the way. So it's not going to be just pictorial. It's also going to be audio and video. Wow. My mind is just <laughs> now buzzing with the potential of that. <laughs> this is what I love talking with you because I remember when we were on the cruise and you were telling everybody about Pinterest, it just opened our eyes up to a new world because some of us had kind of dabbled in Pinterest and some of them had heard about Pinterest but hadn't done anything with it. And the engagement that we had in that room was just phenomenal where people were suddenly like oh my gosh what I can do with this and now we've just taken it to another level where you can have the group cruise go out and have everybody post to the same board so that that can then go viral because all of their friends are going to get to see it so it's also another way of doing soft marketing for that cruise as well is for the like when they want to do their next cruise they can say hey go check out our Pinterest board for the photos from the last cruise that's just oh that is so I'm gonna write that one yeah. She was, she's like, I'm taking yeah. notes. But you know, here's the exciting thing too, because as you know, with Pinterest, we can use hashtags like we do um, through Facebook that go through Twitter. So we can hashtag and come up with hashtags specific for the cruise. And we can come oh, up sweet. with hashtags and even tag each other. So, so that way we're getting it out there even more. So it's not going to be just within our own boards that we're going to be pulling it back to but we're also going to be promoting each other. So all of the, the authors and the speakers that are going to be on there and even the individuals that are just coming to enjoy and learn some of the great things that are going to be taught on this fabulous cruise, we're going to be able to tag each other. And so, like I said, the virality here is going to be absolutely amazing. And then, and then, because of the videos, <laughs> right, gonna it's going to, right, here, my brain's going, and then it's going to tag back through, not only through YouTube, because Google Plus, right, we're on a Google Hangout, so mm -hmm. Google Plus is going to be tagged through Facebook with the videos, so we're going to be rocking and rolling, girlfriend, it's going to be awesome. So, so one posting on Pinterest will go to Twitter, Facebook, if it's a video, it goes to YouTube, and Google Plus, oh my gosh. I know. With one post. With one post. With one post. Wow. And then you've got all the people who follow you on Pinterest that are now exposed to that. All the people that follow you on Facebook that are now exposed to that. Those that follow you on Twitter are now exposed. Those that follow you on YouTube are now. Whoa. You just. I know. I, this is what I love about spending time with you. You just blow my mind with. I mean, Casey, when I first met him back in October 2010. I was just starting to dabble in the social media side of thing. I wasn't sure about this Facebook thing. I was on LinkedIn and I went to an advanced LinkedIn class that Kay Wallace had, which is how I met Casey. 
and he would get up and he would just go and just totally blow my mind with all of the stuff oh. about what was possible with social media back then. And now it's evolved, and I've been trying to keep up with it to keep ahead, of, you know, keep up with the times and everything else, and with what's happening. And now I'm getting all this wow <laughs> again, I'm getting wowed again. And it's kind of scary in a way, but it's a good type of scary because you suddenly see the potential that something could have. And so the social media thing is sort of like you know, people. Some people are scared of it, but when you actually break it down and have a look at how you could use it for a business, it's mind blowing. Well, and it's really exciting, Helen, too, because of what I said earlier, we want to see what's going on besides just the business relationship. So it's a phenomenal way to get to know each other. And I mean, you might not know what kind of food I like to eat. When we get together and we're talking about business or, you know, what have you, we may may not talk about food or we may not talk about styles of clothes or makeup or you know what it, whatever the case may or brands of wine whatever it might be and this kind of gives us an opportunity to feel like um, like we get to know people a little bit better and we get to share our heart a little bit and sometimes we don't always do that in direct business relationships depending on what the conversation is and where it's taking us so it's a real opportunity to connect with individuals in a different way. One thing that I want to say, when I first started with social media and I was kind of playing with Twitter before Twitter was the cool thing to do, and right now I have 92 Twitter accounts and I know that sounds crazy, but it's connected to a lot of affiliate marketing programs that, that I started with a long time ago and I, I continue to kind of dabble in. But the, the whole thing was to get as many people as you could because the more you had the better it was. And now I think we've come to a place where the real connectivity with individuals and meeting in a heart space and collaboration and all of those things that are so much more important by creating real relationships um, in business, social media now makes that possible for us and to share on an equal ground and really get to know each other where we didn't before. I mean, even look at the Google Hangout that we're doing, right? I know. I mean, <laughs> phenomenal. I mean, tell me I mean, about Google like, Hangout we're like, like what, six, we're seven months ago. Live. I would have gone, what? <laughs> I know. We're broadcasting live through your, your uh, blog talk radio channel. Yep. And then folks get to see us live here as well. I mean, this is like totally bomb diggity. <laughs> when I, it's it's amazing because because I've had so much exposure to um, to like people like Casey and yourself and all of those other people and Kay Wallace that know the social media stuff can see the trends can see where things are going have figured out how to use it and how to help businesses with social media and stuff. I mean because I've been exposed to you guys so much and hearing some of these concepts and things. Now when I talk about a Google Hangout, people look at me and go what? And they're like, I've never heard of that. What is it? And I go, oh my gosh, it's the coolest thing. And then I'll start going into my thing about Google Hangouts. And you know, before it used to be like, you know, I've got a I've got a fan page on Facebook, and they were like, you've got a what? You know, and now it's kind of the same. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the coolest thing. And so now, you know, the Google Hangouts is now the new coolest thing. And then you've got Pinterest that you can throw in there and tag everything over to there, and that goes everywhere. And it's just wow. <laughs> Well, you know, one thing that you had, you had mentioned at the beginning is one of your guests is a mutual friend of ours, uh, Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect example of traveling and staying in touch and in contact with your, with your clients and friends. I'm going to be in Scottsdale, Arizona, May 23rd, 24th, and 25th at the Monte Lucia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's a five-star... Spa, I'm hoping you're going to be there, girlfriend. It's going to be amazing. But Linda's doing her luxury brand event there. So I'm going to be removed for four days from sitting here at my desktop in my home office and connecting with my clients. But having an iPad, my, my iPhone, my laptop, I'm going to take that with me, and I'm going to stay in close contact with my client base by utilizing those different technologies. So we were talking about Pinterest, so I will stay in contact with them through that. Um, mm -hmm. I'm involved in a few uh, Facebook groups that are private, so I can, you know, kind of go in there and, and 
type and put my information, my emails through my phone, and all, all of this through social media. So unless they knew by the pictures that I'm going to be uploading when I'm in Arizona, they would think I was sitting here at, you know, in my home office working. So the, tran the transportation that technology has allowed us to have we can be anywhere on a ship because I took care of my clients when I was on that that cruise with you in December. Um, I was just down in LA this past weekend uh, with Carrie Newell and Dr. Sherry Zander at their event and I stayed in contact with my clients. I worked social media at their event. I uploaded pictures. I was texting people. You know, I was staying in with the whole social media thing and not you know and not missing a beat and that is what's so fabulous about these kinds of connections through social media because I'm still promoting my business still meeting the needs of my clients and sharing some of the fun that I'm having while I'm gone as well that's awesome it's just and like I'm heading down to New Zealand on Saturday for 10 days for my brother's wedding and the fact that I will still be able to um, log on onto Facebook and Pinterest and all that and update people because next week my show is going to be live from New Zealand which is going to be kind of cool because i got to figure out oh, the cool. time zone difference because I'll be doing it on Thursday at 11 a.m. New Zealand time which will be Wednesday at 4 p.m. if I've got oh, my, my time goodness. correct. <laughs> so then you've got when you, you know, when you do a weekly show and now all of a sudden I'm in a different time zone the only thing that people are going to notice is that my gorgeous picture behind me is not going to be there when I do my show. I will have a different surrounding. I don't know. Maybe I'll go sit out in my parents' backyard if it's warm enough. I don't know. You know, it's going into winter, so maybe not. But, you know, it's going to be something different. And, and by um, the way, I love the photograph behind you. I love that luggage. Thank you. That's actually only one of two canvas prints of that picture. It was The other one's actually hanging in the um, office of the CEO of Cruise Planners. And this one they had up for raffle at convention last year. And I said to my husband when I saw it, I said, that is the coolest picture. I have to have that. So we bought our raffle tickets. I put it in there. And I was the lucky one. I actually got called out. I, my number got called. So I was ecstatic. And didn't win any of the other prize, but didn't because awesome. I got this. <laughs> and I love it. And you can't actually see it. the whole thing. Because if you look up, you know, it's got the cruise planners. Oh, thing at the I see it says cruise sort of planners. So. Yeah. Beautiful. And it's only it's one of two, and so we've actually seen the one in the CEO's office for cruise planners, and we actually want to at some point put a black frame around it because it just pops the whole thing. So we will do that at some point. We just haven't got around to it yet. Awesome. Now I've got to adjust awesome. my camera again because it looks like I'm sitting on top of my <laughs> the lower third there. <laughs> looks like you're sitting on top of the suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like my chin was resting on my lower third. <laughs> but um. But yeah, no, this this whole thing is going to be so much fun, and it's going to be interesting doing a show live from New Zealand, and people will think, oh, yep, it's just, she's just doing a regular weekly show, and I remember doing one from Cancun one time when we were in Cancun for the Cruise Planners Convention a couple of years ago, and that was an interesting thing because we, we were in the middle of a hurricane coming into the area, and everybody was up in the lobby that night because that was the only place that had the Wi-Fi, and so I'm sitting there with my headset on, and microphone on and trying to make sure there's, that all the um, noise around me was only, wasn't only was going into the microphone that I was trying to talk into. So that was a rather interesting show. <laughs> well, I've got to tell you, this is, this is kind of interesting. You, can you see my necklace that I have on here? I, I can. can it's it. gorgeous. So anyway, I've, I've got to share this because this is, kind of, this is really cool and it, it connects very well into social media. A very dear friend of mine, Don Doucette, Don Marie Doucette. She's on Facebook. Everybody can find her. Anytime I go to an event, she creates, I call it legacy jewelry because someday my granddaughters will end, end up with it. But she always creates jewelry for me when I go to any event. So, she, you know, I'll get on Skype with her, put on an outfit, and she'll create something for me. I was at, I know, is that awesome? She, and she is, she is amazing. In fact, she's going to be at, at Linda's event next month. But, um, so I was at Carrie Newell and Dr. Sherry Zander's Communication with Magic event this past weekend, and I had on some jewelry that, that Dawn had designed for me. And Linda and Eli Davidson, Linda Jones and Eli Dav Davidson and I were in a photograph to put on Facebook so that everybody could see us hanging out together, and I had on one of Dawn's necklaces, 
And so Dawn, and this is an excellent way, marketing way to use social media. She could see which necklace I had on. She had a photograph of the necklace because she had sent it to me and used it as a promotional piece for her business. So she mm -hmm. incorporated a close-up of the necklace that I had on below the picture of the three of us and put it all over social media so that it advertised her her gorgeous necklace and it went all over the place awesome so here was I was awesome. traveling right here <laughs> I was traveling wearing something that she made for me and then she picked up on it put the picture you know did her however she did the photograph thing and then put it on social media so that everybody could enjoy it and then again it was a promotional piece for her because they saw it and they're like oh, oh my gosh that's gorgeous so yes well I had um, the cool thing I'm looking forward to is that now you've talked about that it just gave me an idea that when I'm in New Zealand I'm only going down to Wellington to the area of Wellington I'm actually going to a little place called Parapara Umu which is just north of Wellington, but I'm hoping to be able to do some day trips into Wellington to check out some stuff because next January I actually have a cruise that leaves out of Sydney, goes across to New Zealand, and we spend 14 nights after we leave Sydney cruising around New Zealand, which is going to be awesome, and we get to spend a day in Wellington. So I'm going to go do some I'm research. I'm jealous. <laughs> do some research while I'm down there, and then I can post the pictures on Facebook going, who wants to come here next year? <laughs> And on Pinterest, see, you, Pinterest. you need to create yes. create a board for that trip so that you can show everybody kind of the nuances of, of that location. Excellent idea. Board. Okay, I'm taking my notes. <laughs> yes. But, but, you know, that's going to be so cool to go down there and take some pictures and come back and upload them into Pinterest, upload them to Facebook and... It's going to be awesome. I'm getting excited about it. I'm even getting more excited about this trip. I'm actually going down for my brother's wedding, but now it's got more excitement added to it as well because my brother getting married is exciting anyway. So, <laughs> Well, you know what? And share that with us too because I think that would be really cool to see photographs of you with your family. And I mean, you know, everybody loves love and romance and seeing them all happy and that will be awesome. And I just know you're going to be stunning. So you're, you and Brad need to... Take a couple of pictures well, together. Unfortunately, Brad won't be coming with me. <gasps> he, well, no. even more than, right? You need to take more pictures so that he can enjoy them as well. Yes, I will definitely be taking lots of pictures while I'm down there and making sure lots of, because it'll be the first time in, oh, heck. It's going to be a first time in a few years that my parents have had us three kids together in one place. I'm trying to think oh, the last time awesome. that the three of us were together. Because when I was last down there, I my parents picked us up in Auckland. We went and toured around the Northland area. Then we went down to Tauranga and met with my brother there. And then we went down to Wellington where my other brother was, and where my parents were living. So the three of us weren't together then at that point. I guess it would have been 2002 would have been the last trip when I was down there where the three of us oh, were actually goodness. together. And we, got, and we got a family photograph taken with my mum, dad, and us three kids. So this will be the first time oh, in... This is going to be oh, very years. special. Wow. Oh, that gives me chills. Very cool. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, lots of pictures because we all want to see. Now that you're sharing it with us here, we want to see that because, you know, that's real warming and, and, and touching because it's family and it's connectivity. And, and because we love yeah. you, we want you to share that with us because we know it's going to be a special occasion, you know. Something else that I want to that I want to share about social media. A really good friend of mine, Mary Barnett, brilliant mobile marketing. Mary Barnett, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know her. Mobile Mary. I know and, her on Facebook. Is, I don't think I've actually met her in do person. You? Oh, so here I'm going to throw another I'm going to throw another thing to you. Come to Linda's event next month, and you're going to meet her. But this is so mobile marketing is so connected to social media, and I'll tell you why. If you have got a mobile website, right, so you do that through your, your uh, smartphone, um, yes. you can stay in contact with your clients via mm -hmm. texting through mobile marketing. Your website is on mobile marketing. So you can actually create, before you even go on a trip, let's say you're going to go on a trip, you can create coupons or 
product notices or events that are coming up, anything that you've got going on in your business, while you are sitting in your chair drinking your little umbrella drinks next to the pool, all you do is hit a button and all of that goes out to all of your clients. So all that stuff can be set ahead when you're sitting, you know, looking so beautiful with your big hat and your bathing suit, drinking that umbrella drink and utilizing mobile marketing through an app. And I just want to share this with people because I actually have one, okay? And if people, and you'll have to try this when we get off, if you text Kathy Stover, no space, just K-A-T-H-Y-S-T-O-V-E-R to 69302. So Kathy Stover, and you're going to text it to 69302. You're you're going to see everything about me. It's going to show you all of my social media. It's going to take you to my website. It's going to talk about a book that I um, co-authored with 50 other women entrepreneurs. I think we still get that in there. But this is all through mobile, uh, mobile Mary, brilliant mobile marketing.com. And it's an excellent way to stay in contact again with your social media and all of your clients through a mobile website. Oh my gosh, it just came back. Look at that. Did it come back? Okay, look at you. You didn't wait. Yeah, I'm telling Is that cool? That is and so I just cool. Got, so, you, so you take, so you dial I, the number 69302, put in the text area, Kathy Stover is one word, and I immediately got two messages back. That is yes. awesome. I got, a message, I got a message too. So I got a message as well saying that I just had cool. somebody opt in, and you'll be able to go in there and see everything about me but if I wanted to be sitting by the pool on the cruise like we're going to be doing again mm -hmm. this coming December I can sit there and do all the information have everything preset so I just hit a text a button it has a process through the back end and all of my clients will have all the information that they need so that's taking your mobile thing one step further where you you send one text message and it goes out to everybody on your opt-in list on the mobile app Absolutely. That is so cool. So <laughs> many cool things. Love it. <laughs> oh, well, Kathy, we're down to the last two minutes. So what we're going to be doing with the video and with the radio show too is that we're going to have the link on there for them to go and fill out a, a form if they want to contact you or find out more information about you. So um, if you're watching this on the video, there's a link below the video. Just go click on that and it'll take you to a form, fill it out, and Kathy will get in contact with you. Or if you're listening on the radio, then go to the episode page and in the description you'll see the link there. Click on that, fill it out, and Kathy will get in contact with you. So great ways to do that. So Kathy, in the last um, two minutes that we have, what's some piece of advice that you can give to somebody who isn't quite sure what to be doing with social media and is just like starting it? Because I know there's always businesses that aren't even on social media yet that are just starting out. What's one piece of advice that you can give them about social media? I just want people to know, don't be fearful about connecting with individuals because that's how you're going to grow your business. And don't feel like because you have a hundred people and not a thousand and somebody else does, don't let that detour you because that's how you connect. Real connections are made by connecting and letting people see who, who you are. So just yes. put yourself out there, share what you've got going on, just go for it. That, that's what I would say and I just want to tell you I absolutely adore you Helen, I'm so excited. You asked me to be on. It was so good to see you. I hate that it's going to be so long, unless you come next month. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kathy, it has been an absolute pleasure having you on the show, and thank you so much for all of your great information. I've got a ton of notes sitting here now, and I'm going to go and process those and put them into my little my little social media plan that I've got that I'm working on. So thank you again, Kathy. I truly appreciate you um, taking the time out and spending the time with us. And for everybody else, I hope you enjoyed the show. And again, if you need to contact Kathy, just click on the link and fill out the form and she'll be in contact with you. And she has a great, she is great with her social media strategies. So if you need some help with that area, we can get you in contact with Kathy with no problem at all. And next week we'll be broadcasting live from New Zealand, technology allowing, which it should do, so we should be good. So that's going to be an interesting show because I have no idea what we're going to be doing, but we'll figure it out <laughs> as we always do. <laughs> So everybody remember to take a break. Heck on era. <laughs>